compressibility factor. Deviation from ideal behavior can be measured in terms of compressibility factor or Z. It is denoted by Z. Compressibility factor or Z. Okay. So, deviations of real gases from its ideal behavior can be measured using this term Z. And Z is the ratio of the product of PV and NRT. It's ratio. So, Z is equal to PV by NRT. Now, for ideal gases, for ideal gases, Z is equal to 1. Okay. That means PV equal NRT. So, in this graph, we have drawn Z against P. Okay, Z is equal to PV by NRT. So, at Z is equal to 1, gases are ideal. Okay, so ideal, ideal gases, the uh, line will be, the plot will be a straight line parallel to pressure axis. Okay, so Z is equal to 1 for ideal gases. Now, what about real gases? In case of real gases, it deviates from ideal, uh, ideal behavior. You can see the plots of different gases. All these gases deviates from ideal behavior. And Z uh, also at the same time, Z deviates from unity for all those gases. Okay. So, at very low pressure, we can see that low pressure Z is approximately equal to 1. Okay. Near to 1. For high pressures, what happens? High pressures, we can see Z is greater than 1. And for intermediate pressure, intermediate pressure, what happens? The Z value is less than 1. Okay. So, gases show ideal behavior when Z is equal to 1. Okay. And almost all the real gases show deviation from ideal behavior and the different plots of nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, CH4 and CO2 are given. Okay. Boil temperature or boil point. Boil temperature is the temperature at which a real gas obey ideal gas law over an appreciable range of pressure. Okay. Temperature at which a real gas obey ideal behavior over an appreciable range of pressure. Okay. So, up to what pressure gas follow ideal gas law? So, this pressure, uh, the up to what pressure the real gas obey ideal behavior depends upon the nature of the gas and temperature. Nature of the gas and temperature. Okay. So, boil point or boil temperature depends upon the nature of the gas. So, different gases have different boil temperature. Okay. Above this boil point, real gases show positive deviation. Okay. Positive deviation. That means... Z is greater than 1. Okay. So, above the boiling point, real gases obey, uh, shows positive deviation. That is, Z is greater than 1. And below the boiling point, what happens? Z value reaches minimum. Below boil, below boil point, Z value reaches minimum. Okay. Then it starts increasing continuously. Okay. So, at, 
a low pressure and high temperature these gases obey ideal behavior okay at low pressure and high temperature this ideal gas this real gases obey ideal behavior okay next is significance of z and we know z is equal to pv by nrt for ideal gases what happens we know pv equal nrt or pv ideal volume will be volume of ideal gas that is equal to nrt or v ideal equal nrt by p now for real gases z is equal to pv real by nrt and we know nrt by p is vi v ideal so this is equal to v real by v ideal Okay, so Z, the combustibility factor, is the ratio of the actual molar volume of the gas. This is the actual molar volume of the gas by the molar volume of the gas if it will be an ideal gas at uh, at, at that temperature and pressure. So Z will be equal to V real by V ideal or volume of real gas by volume of. I did.